Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Classic Who reaction. So I filmed the first part of Frontier in space, went out, did a bit of sunbathing, read my book, and now I'm ready, ready for round two. So let's go. Um, I hope you're all doing really well. Yep. Yeah, that's all I've got today, guys. That's all I've got. So shall we just... Uh, we just get on with it before I embarrass myself anymore. I'm also drinking um, Coke Zero because our shop substituted Diet Cokes for this. I just can't bet. I find it really sweet. I don't know why I'm telling you this. But enjoy that information. I don't know. I can't see what you're How do they get on board? Stowaways. That's it, they were stowaways. They were sending messages. That's right. They were helping the dragons. They're traitors. But that's absolute nonsense. Look, we didn't want to be on this ship. It was an accident. You said you were passengers. I was merely trying to avoid a lot of tasks and explanations, old chap. Right, get moving. In there. <laughs> Back again. No need to push. Oh, they made me jump. Listen. The ships that are knocking. Flat with him. Still watching. Flash him. That's what he's there for, isn't it? We'll give it a few minutes, then I'll start groaning and pretending I'm ill. When he comes in, you can use your Venusian karate. And then what? Then we'll take his gun, go to the flight deck, and make somebody take us back to Earth. Joe, <laughs> will you but... stop pacing up and down like a perishing panda? Now come and sit down. Let me think, will you? That's better. Doctor, <laughs> now the Ogrons are gone, why don't the crewmen remember what really happened? Oh, well, that's simple then. I mean, all we've got to do is find out what's going on, who's behind the Ogrons, where they've taken the TARDIS, go and get it back, and then we can all go home. Right? Right. Oh, I don't know what I've been worrying about. I love these two. We are now at Spaceport 10. The ship will land in 15 minutes. Be exact, Joe. Shh. Someone's coming. Outside. We want to see somebody in authority. You're going to. Outside. Now then, what's all this about? Union agents. Are you sure? What else can they be? Their story is obvious nonsense. But why? We... Why would the Draconians leave them on board the ship? The... We'll bring them face to face with the Draconian ambassador. They'll use the mind probe. You talk to them now. You save yourselves a lot of trouble. Yeah, but if they use a mind probe, then they're going to know what's the truth. Mind probe? Oh, you don't want to worry about those things, Joe. As long as you tell them the truth, they can't yeah, exactly. do anything. They can't? No, of course not. Well, they're only sort of computers with a few extra knobs on. Did I ever tell you the story about how I was once captured by the Medusoids? What are they? Medusoids. Mm. How can I describe them to you? Well, they're a sort of hairy jellyfish with claws, teeth, and a leg. Look. Anyway, they put me on one of these mind probe things, you see, and tried to get me to tell them where I was going. Mm. So I said I was on my way to meet a giant rabbit, a pink elephant, and a purple horse with yellow spots. <laughs> what happened? But you weren't telling the truth. I mean, you weren't really going to meet a giant rabbit, a pink elephant, and a... What was it? A purple horse with yellow spots. Yes, I was. You see, they were all delegates for the Third Intergalactic Peace Conference. How did you get away from these things? Well, they had to turn me loose eventually. Why? They ran out of mind probes. <laughs> <laughs> if we really were working for the Draconians, why did they leave us in your ship? To act as spies when you were brought back to Earth. Allow me to congratulate you, sir. You have the most totally closed mind that I've ever encountered. <laughs> Madam, I beg of you to listen to me. 
some third parties trying to provoke war between Earth and Draconia. You are both being duped. Take them away. Just a minute, please. Why should a third party wish to do this? I have no idea, madam. But believe me, that is what is happening. Take them away. Trust please that. listen to me. But why? Why should they produce such an elaborate lie? The ways of the Earthmen are devious. They're an inscrutable species. Why? You heard me. Move. Not unless you give me some good reason. The president wants you. Is that good enough? Perhaps he believed you. You sure it's the president? Not another ridiculous interrogation. I said move. Roger. Perhaps we can convince them after all. finally convince them that we're both draconian agents there is no need to maintain this pretense we know you are both agents of the earth government my god the of the draconian empire my dear chap i've already been through all this with the president of earth she thinks i'm working for you you are working for general williams and Bograd's. Yes. some third parties employing them trying to make trouble between earth and draconia if you tell us the details of General Williams' plan, we shall be able to expose him to your president. Oh my there God! There will still be a chance. These people dumb. Peace. Dear chap, nobody is more devoted to the cause of peace than I am. <clears throat> but I cannot tell you something that I don't know. We have mind-probing techniques, just as efficient as those we'll used by you Earthmen. Take him away. <laughs> no. Blimey, that was easy. Ah, shit. Doctor, where have you been? I've been paying a brief but unwilling visit to the Draconian Embassy. And I'm afraid I had to leave in rather a hurry and find myself back here. What happened? Well, believe it or believe it not, Joe, they think we're working with General Williams and trying to provoke a war. Oh, no. Yes, Earth is blaming Draconia, and Draconia is blaming Earth. And both sides are blaming us. That's about it. What's the matter? That's Sam. One I heard on the cargo ship. This is turning out to be a pretty darn good story. Um, I do find it infuriating when like both sides are not listening, but I then at the same time I think if we were in that situation, we would assume the same thing. So happy we're seeing the Ogrons again. I just feel like the Daleks could be involved because the Ogrons were, were working for them last time, so. They could be working for them again. I love this whole idea that they play the sound. And it makes them think that it's the Draconians. Not whoever else it is targeting them. That's a really clever idea. So then does someone play the sound? Is someone like 
in charge of playing this sound? How do you get the sound out to all those people? And now what are the Oak Ones going to do? Are the Oak Ones going to take the Doctor and Joe back to... Um, like the Daleks? Hmm. Hmm. Very intriguing. Very intriguing. Okay, let's leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I will be back very soon with another reaction.